Okay, in this particular question, we're going to be looking at ratios. It does form part of the playlist on ratios. Uh, it's quite a wordy question, so I've put the whole question into the description box below. But basically, you've got um, university applicants. There's 945 applicants for 126 pace places. What it asks you to do is to write the ratio in the form n to 1. Okay, um, it really doesn't mean anything other than just simplify what you've got there. So in other words, what we're saying is, is that 126 divided by 126 is equal to 1. So if we do exactly the same on this side, we divide 945 by 126. Now, however you do that, it usually would be on a calculator paper, I guess, this sort of question. But it should work out at... 7.5 exactly so in other words the question rather than n is saying put it in the ratio 7.5 to 1 which is the simplified version of this okay the second part of the question says that out of the 126 successful applicants the ratio of male to female is 4 to 5 and it asks you to find out how many females there are well we Treat that in much the same way. What we're actually saying is that if there are nine applicants altogether, then four of them would be male and five of them would be female. But there isn't nine. There's actually 126. So what we're saying is how much have we multiplied uh, nine to get to 126? Well, we've actually multiplied that by 14 times. 9 times 14 is 126, and again, you'd need to work that out either using a calculator or you could do some short division, something like that, where 9 into 126, and work that through, and you'll get an answer of 14. Okay, so what we're saying is that we've multiplied the 9 by 14 times, so we're going to do exactly the same with the male. We multiply that by 14, exactly the same with the female, multiply that by 14. The question is asking us for the females, how many females there are? Well, 5 times 14 is actually 70, and that's the answer to this particular question. You could also work out the number of males there by multiplying 14 by 4, and that's going to be, I think, about 56. Okay, so there's 56 males uh, in that group of 126 successful applicants. I hope that's okay for you. Really, dealing with ratio is all about multiplying through by the same number. It's very, very similar to fractions in the way that we approach this sort of question. Please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.